Hey everyone, it's Chris from Helpdesk, back with a follow-up tutorial on improving the camera rig we set up in the previous video. If you've been using the rig, you've probably noticed it works great. But today I'm going to show you how to make it even more efficient. We have built a flexible camera rig that allows for smooth movements and easy target switching. However, there's a small issue. We still need to manually keyframe both the camera's track to constraint and the focus point's copy location constraint. There's a better way to automate this process. What we can do instead is use drivers to link the influence values of the copy location constraints for our focus objects to the influence values of the track to constraints on the camera. This way, we'll only need to set keyframes for the track to constraints and the focus will follow automatically. Let's dive in. First, go to the camera panel and select the track to constraint. Right click on the influence slider and choose copy as new driver. Now go to the target object's copy location constraint, right click on the influence slider and choose paste driver. You've just linked the two influences together. This simple addition of drivers makes the rig more efficient and allows you to focus on your animation without worrying about manual adjustments. By the way, in the next video, I'll show you how to turn this entire setup into a custom plugin using ChatGPT so you can skip the five minute process and dive straight into working on your animations. You can use that extra time to check out Gleb Alexandrov's amazing new tutorial on the Blender and DaVinci Resolve workflow. Definitely worth watching. If you found this useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks. See you in the next one. <laughs>